Ah, the coming weeks I have to work from home. But don't worry, I'm going to share with you some knowledge based on scientific studies. This lecture is about working from home to be productive and stay healthy. You probably watched this video at home, so to make it a bit cozy, I added flowers and candlelight. Uh, in this lecture I would like to share with you three points. One, that you have to stay connected to the enterprise. Uh, the second point is take care of the, the balance of the work life. And the other thing is vary your posture, because sitting on posture is not good. Point one. Uh, stay connected. Well, working from home can cause some problems. That's written in the scientific literature. One of them is a low connection with the organization. That's studied by Hengst et al. The second one is social isolation from peers. And the third one is that the ICT connection could be an issue. So, uh, for instance, the ICT, your whole family worked with the same Wi-Fi. Uh, but, on the other hand, uh, it's also possible that your enterprise does not give you the right software to work from home. Well, in this part you see a headphone and a webcam and the right software, and that's a possibility to stay in contact with group meetings. And then you can see each other and talk each other, and that way you feel connected. It's important to have these kind of group meetings to also see what your peers are doing. But it's also important to have individual me meeting additionally. By the way, uh, uh, you also have to be connected to the birds. Rulofsen showed in his PhD that for comfort fresh air is very important. The second point was the balance work life. Well, literature shows that working from home has positive effects. It's, you have more options to create a work ba balance, life balance. Uh, for instance, you can arrange your working times. You can work at evenings and then work, and then during the day you can take care of the children, or uh, you can arrange that better. It, it's in your hands. The negative point is there are family conflicts, uh, so it could lead to stress, or you don't have a natural stop at five o'clock, so you can stay to work forever and that can give stress. But you need attention to the family too, which creates a disbalance. In this case, uh, you should have maybe taken more care of the child. Uh, by the way, appointments, who of the parents take care uh, during several hours is important. For instance, I can take in the morning of the children and my wife takes care in the afternoon of the, of the children. I promised to share with you three points. Do you remember them? One, stay connected, correct. Two, balance the work-life situation, yes. And three, vary your posture. So the third one is now. Now I'm going to focus on the third point. No variation of posture is terrible. If you have physical inactivity for long periods during your life, it can lead to cardiovascular disorders type 2 diabetes, depression, obesitas, some forms of cancer, and it's bad for the brain. So maybe I should reset. <laughs> but uh, how do you vary your posture? Well, Honan showed in 2015 that we already use four types of devices and it automatically changes your posture. So if you use a smartphone, you have a different posture than the tablet, than the laptop, and the desktop. So the variation of those systems is good. Nowadays maybe the smartphone is even more used than in 2015. But uh, apart from working with different devices, it's also good to take a break. Walking is also good for your stress. Park showed in 2009 that uh, the cortisol is lower, the blood pressure is lower, and you have less stress after walking in nature compared to walking in the city. This is a way to take a break as well. People warn you from outside, hey, it's now time to take a break. Uh, 
Another system is uh, there are systems available, there is software that warns you for staying too long in one position and even can give you health advice. Uh, the Korte made a nice overview of all, all M health applications. Research shows that there are also positive effects from working from home. You can have a higher productivity, more sense of control, a higher job autonomy. Yeah, you can imagine that sometimes you can work more concentrated and are less disturbed by your uh, colleagues. And it's also possible to arrange your own time. So I shared with you in this lecture three points. Try to stay connected with the company, balance your work-life situation, and vary your posture. And now the bonus. Of course it's important to vary the posture, but it's also important to have a neutral wrist posture, to have the right armrest height, look at the movable backrest, have a good seat height, and have the right tablet angle. To start with a neutral wrist posture, uh, using a mouse, this is a possibility. And for the armrest height, try to have that at the same level as the table height. And then the movable backrest it has the advantage that you can move your back. And for the seat height, look for the position of the height of the seat, which this doesn't give you too much pressure on, on the front of the seat. So it should be a little bit loose, but not completely loose. And for the tablet angle, of course, this angle is the most best one as shown by study of Elbin et al. Thank you for your attention.